Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So today we will talk about the weights in the playwright. So in previous video we have already talked about the auto weights. So playwright has a functionality which provides the weight automatically. So when you want to click on the any of the element, it will automatically check like if the element is unable and wait till that it got unable. So for different elements like for text box uh, if it is clickable or not, for a selector uh, if it is enabled or not it waits till that time and after that it performs the action so by default it waits for the some time so uh, apart from the auto weights uh, it provides uh, other weights as well so with the help of the weights you can actually execute your automation without uh, much failure and it may, uh, becomes very stable so using the weights are very important so first the uh, weight we talk about is always that uh, static weight so people always say that don't use static weights like or uh, uh, use as, as less as much you can <laughs> so always avoid to use static weight so what static weight do is like uh, if you put the static weight for example in playwright we have page dot wait for timeout so this is very useful to remember page dot wait for timeout and it provides static weight and you need to give the milliseconds how many milliseconds you want to wait so here I have given 5000 milliseconds that means for 5 seconds it won't do anything it just stays there so if something is happening there in background or some element you are struggling with uh, uh, click or input or select or something right so you can always put wait for timeout but uh, you can ask UI guy to fix that one and you should avoid using the static wait for some time so this is how uh, first thing you can use so uh, yeah as uh, i told uh, always try to avoid static weights because it does nothing and it just wait for uh, static time so it slow down your uh, automation other uh, second is wait for selector so this is very important so when you are clicking on any of the element and your selector is on not on the uh, page you should put is wait for selector so it waits uh, till that selectors uh, uh, comes on the screen also you can give the timeout so it has like uh, something called timeout and you can give 5000 seconds so what this uh, thing will do is it will wait for this element but if 5 second it won't come out it will already get timeout and it gives the error so you can provide the timeout so and you can always in playwright you have by default timeout as well so it will wait for 60 seconds if it won't come and you can provide in the before block also so that uh, it will always uh, be same for all the elements but for specific element if we want to give timeout separately you can give that so this is the option you can give <coughs> so uh, the best practice is you can wait for element and then click on the element or something you can perform the actions on the element apart from wait for selector the uh, other useful is like wait for navigation so when you are navigating the your page you always uh, use for uh, wait till the navigation happens so we we had that uh, method wait for navigation but now it get deprecated so if you check here wait for navigation so wait for navigation is now deprecated this method is in healthy resi please use page dot wait for url so now instead of that you can use wait for url and wait for url does almost same thing and it waits till that uh, url uh, gets redirect so it always try to wait for the main frame to navigate to that given url so whatever url we are performing it will still the, all the uh, navigation get resolved so still that page is loading it waits so you, you need to provide is that url and in option you can again give timeout if uh, it won't navigate for five seconds it will automatically timeout so you have other option as well like wait until so what you need to wait is until load or network get idle so network get idle means here in network tip uh, there should not be any network call so when you load the page uh, let's do here so when you pay the load you will get so many network calls so i have created video for this also so you can uh, check like till all these uh, request uh, get settled it will wait so now i think all the requests get settled and there is no further network call 
how it will uh, perform that action so this is uh, one you can use so yeah wait for ull we had timeout and uh, we had uh, that wait for function so with other is like wait for load state the uh, same way you can use till that uh, event occurs so wait for event is very important so what happens uh, we have already used that in upload and download videos so when you upload any file there is a event for uh, that and when you download file there is some download event on that so you need to wait till that event occurs and after that you need to write the code so here in handle downloads uh, we have used that so page dot wait event file chooser so file chooser event is responsible for download so it waits till that uh, this is file upload one yeah so it waits till the file upload happens and after that you need to write your code to click on that uh, chooser button and uh, it will wait for file chooser and all so this uh, wait for event will wait till the file get uploaded so this is how it is useful so other is like uh, i let's go here only so wait for response so when you are using api call you are automating api call this is very important you need to go through the uh, you need to always use to wait for response so when you call your api and a response goes to 100 it will pass otherwise if uh, you get any other response it will fail so you can uh, customize like that so you can wait for till the specific response occurs so until 200 occurs it will wait but uh, if you, you can just use wait for response or and you get api call and you can uh, get the response in one of the constant and you can always uh, uh, check out what response you get and this network idle that is we already talked like wait for load state so waits until there are no network connection for at least 500 milliseconds apart from that uh, if you search for wait for uh, you get wait for function wait for selector we already used wait for timeout is uh, the default timeout so here already they have called never wait for timeout in production so you should not use this in the production but if you are you don't have any other option you can use that and uh, most of the if you are practical and if you have uh, contributing to the frameworks you know like we, we, we have static weights but we try to avoid as much as we can <coughs> so most of the timeouts we talk and this only wait for function is there so it returns when the page function returns a truthy value so when we get the truth value we can use that so you can provide any function here like in wait for function you can provide like windows dot inner with so you can use one of the function and this when whenever this function matches it will uh, give the true value and uh, you will get the execution so it will still that function inside the function you whatever you wrote get executed so these are the important weights uh, uh, you should use with the playwright so using as much uh, weights uh, as possible so that your uh, execution won't fail often and it will run smoothly so whenever you get your report it will be always green so if you have till any doubt feel free to comment and uh, please uh, provide your feedback and in social media we always keeps on sharing funny memes on software testing so check those out thank you